Tank Nerds, Lottie here. Today we're gonna have a run through of the optics. So for all you optic nerds, we're gonna have, <laughs> optic nerds I should say, we're gonna have a look at the sighting system on Centurion. So we're gonna start with the most basic um, periscope, which is this two-piece system that we have here. So these are used on the loaders side, which is this one here, and on the front of the drivers, which are these ones right here and there. So the way they work, they utilize a little ratcheting mechanism here. So you can actually fit and raise and lower this site from within the tank. I'll show you how that works uh, when we jump inside. They're very simple. Simply have this bottom piece which locks in. It's just a simple uh, mirrored lens and two pieces of glass. The top is identical. It's just got a little bit longer reach and it's mostly hollow on the inside. So inside the tank, they look <clears throat> exactly like that. Moving on, we have one of the commander's periscope uh, lenses. Uh, these obviously go up there where the commander is. These are again pretty straightforward. They're almost like two of the little ones that we were looking at before, just flipped over. They have two notable differences. One, we've got a little hatch here that I can open up. Of course, it's not going to do it now. They're spring-loaded. There we go. So you don't accidentally kick the lenses as you're climbing in and out of the tank. So these can be opened and shut. On the other side, you will notice uh, this little clip here. That'll be important for um, installing them. On the front, we have its part number. This is brand new out of the box, this one, by the way, which is why it looks so good. We do have uh, the other ones, but we have run out. So we have to bust out some of the new old stock. Uh, you will notice it has two uh, o-rings. This is to stop water coming in through the top of the tank. So that's them ones there. Now the one you've all been waiting for, this is the gunner's sight. This one again is brand new out of the box. Uh, this one does have a light, so it's got a little plug there. And you can quickly swap out the lights under this little hatch here. Now I do have it on its sides just so it's a little bit easier, but you would normally look at it this way. Now looking through the main periscope, you'll see a circle. That circle is what the gunner's sight is focusing on. So when we come down to the sight itself, if it focuses, you can see the scale and it's looking more or less where the objective lens there is. So that's all really there is to say about this one. Uh, it does have all of the instructions, bore sighting and whatnot. We'll install this one in a little bit. So those are our three main sites. There is one more, um, but we don't have one with us at the moment, and that is the commander's binocular site, which goes up there. So we will move to the sites themselves. Climbing up. So this is the Lotus site. Uh, it's got a little protective cover over the top. You can open that and look down at the little wheel in the middle there, uh, just in the middle, that is how you raise and lower the periscope. And this is also on a hinge, so it actually goes up and down. Normally you just leave them in one spot, but that is also how you can uh, swap them out while inside the tank. Here's one we prepared earlier. 
So again, remember these little teeth. We'll jump in and show you how those ones work. It's turning into a nice warm day. So here we have the bottom of the periscope. Now I don't have the top, so remember these are a two-piece system. So I've only got the bottom one fitted at the moment. The uh, other one isn't, uh, but it is fully articulating. So you can look up and down. And to swap them out, you unwind the headrest. It's got a little clamp on it. There is two uh, bolts here. Turn the light on in a sec. There you go. There's two bolts that you need to undo. And then this hinges back. Pull it out. It's easy when you're <laughs> using two hands. Pop it out. And you replace it with a new one, if for whatever reason this one gets broken. Uh, but that also allows access inside. So the whole idea of the periscope slash episode, episcope system is that regardless of which one gets broken, they can always be replaced inside the tank. So you don't have to leave the tank to replace them. I'll just pop them there. You can have a quick little look around the inside of the Centurion. Cool. Moving over to the commander side, so let's hop back out. You can see some that I fitted here, so the blank spots. The blank spots here are where they haven't been fitted, and here are some of the others. Here we go. Okay, here we are in the commander's seat. Uh, here are the blanking screens, as I mentioned before. So we've got a few different ages of them. So this one's a fairly new one, and here's a pretty old one. But they all work exactly the same way. Little uh, shutter system, so again, you don't kick them accidentally as you're crawling in and out of the tank. And this is the bracket mechanism, so one should go in here. Simply... Uh, hook it onto the bottom, and then lock it in place. And that's how they should all go. Uh, as I mentioned before, there should be a binocular system that goes in this one right here. We don't have one at the moment, but we will hunt for them. We're not too worried about it at this stage because they are fairly, um, unlike the uh, episcopes, they're a bit more touchy and a bit more uh, exp expensive, I should say, so we don't exactly want one on what is basically a ride vehicle. Moving forward, we have the gunner's sight, so it says right up here, mounting sight. Uh, this is the headdress, it's a little deteriorated, but not too bad. And you'll notice the plug here, and the sight itself goes all the way up to the top. And we'll take note of these two switches up here, the demister and the wipers. When we hop back out, here's a bit of the gunnery. I will do a video on the gunnery at a future date. Pretty much everything works from the little time I've sort of played with it. Unfortunately, I've already found that some of the lights, um, there's little globes that go in the side here. They've blown, so we need to get some more of those. But they all still work, so the um, tank is powered up at the moment, and you can see we are getting a little bit. Oh, maybe it uh, helps when it turns on. There we go. <laughs> so it does help. You can actually see it move with the turret. But again, the lights don't actually work on it, unfortunately. So we'll have to fix that at a later date. Anyway, crawling out, heading back over to the top, you'll see this, not the WD, we can get rid of that. 
This is the gunner's site housing. Call around the front. So the site that we were looking at before will actually fit in here. There is a little wiper, which does work, but the uh, rubber is a bit perished at the moment, so we're not gonna play with that too much. And we know for a fact that the um, demister, which is this wire here, it just gets really hot. Um, we know for a fact that that one works because it actually uh, got really warm up here and <laughs> we were wondering why. So yeah, that's those sites. And we'll have a quick look at the driver's optics. So the driver's optics are identical to the loaders, uh, except you can see them a bit more clearly here. So I don't have uh, any of the optics in them at the moment, but they again operate the same way. You slide them in here, again, two-piece system. So you need to clamp it shut with this section here. And here's the little wheel that we were talking about before. So this raises and lowers. The optic, you can see the wheel right there. And there you have it. That's all the optics on Centurion Tank. So again, more ranting and raving. Again, if you like this, hit like and subscribe. Leave a nice little comment down below and I'll be sure to give more of these random little chats. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.